flesh, habitual food for their fathers. Now they have descended to the village where the collective feast is about to begin. Tradition, imposed by extreme poverty, prescribes that it be celebrated only once every five years. A violent feast during which, for three days and three nights, everyone stuffs on meat until they're ready to burst. In a short while, hundreds of pigs, the only treasure accumulated in long years of abstinence, will be killed and devoured in a few hours. Then the long fasting will begin once more. Another five years of hell will have to go by before the survivors return here to celebrate their three days truce with hunger, bodies ornamented with birds of paradise feathers. savages don't respect certain formalities. Hunger doesn't allow for loss of time when the great moment comes for the head tribesman to announce that finally, after five years of waiting, the dinner is served. as they want to, provided they give the impression that they aren't particularly hungry. They must at all costs set a good example of table manners. Dogs also get a special treat. Perhaps we've discovered some kind intentions unexpected among such barbarians. Or, perhaps, they're simply headmen's dogs. In that case, we haven't discovered anything really new. 